Okay, this video is going to show you how to take a number that's in this format, 239V-6 base 7 8 uh, quote for the inches, <clears throat> and, and deconstruct it and turn it into a decimal. All right? So if you need the decimal equivalent to that, this is how you, one way to do it. There's Here, let me show you the best way, the one that is, has the formula here. So I can just take this and copy it right over the top of that. All right, and then I don't know why the whole thing's not showing. Backspace enter. Hmm. Maybe because there's information here, let's delete that. Take this, drag it right to there. So there's the formula A4. We're looking at this one here, all A4. 239, 6 and 7 eighths. Right. <clears throat> There's the formula. Zoom in as much as I can. <clears throat> A4. If you copy that just exactly the way it is, I wish I could give credit to whoever did this. This is probably the 20th variation that I've used. Uh, third since just now trying to explain this. So this is, seems to be very, very accurate. It's, what this is doing is taking that and converting it to this, right? That's the formula there. All right, I'm just showing the text of it. <clears throat> and then going the opposite way, that would be right here. Let's delete all that. No, this, this formula right here, is not that formula internal oh this was just a conglomerate so if we go over here and paste that there internal f4 f4 if g says be over there f4 F4. We're gonna it's taking this decimal, and so let's get that decimal first. I'll show you how to use that formula. So we're gonna try to get from feet and inches to decimal right there, and then from decimal to feet and inches. I'll maybe I'll switch it to G4 would be better. All right. So here we go. So we're gonna <clears throat> it's called the fast something. I forget what it's called, but we're just gonna write in 239 right here. Enter, and then just select it and drag it down. And hit Control E, and then you'll see it's grabbing all the f numbers that are in front. You could extract it with the uh, formulas, but it's not necessary. You just got to be careful. You don't check. Make sure nothing there has like some zeros. Uh, sometimes you have the way this is set up. If you go Control One or you know bring up your there number with the zero decimal places, if it has decimal places there, you might pull up two thirty nine point something. You know, or something that doesn't match. This helps if you have it in the right format. I don't want any decimal places, so that's why I formatted it and it helps recognize what I'm looking for there. And then here we're going to go 6, enter, and then just do the same thing. Click on it, drag it down to the bottom, and then control E, and it looks like it recognized them. It's recognizing all the hold inches. This one here is also control 1, it's also set to number of, uh, it would, you could set it to zero. <clears throat> I didn't, <clears throat> but it seems to be recognizing them just fine. And then here we're going to go seven, enter, because we're looking for seven. We're just de deconstructing everything here. Control E, and it's recognizing one, 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 three, three, one, three, three, five, one. Yeah, everything's recognized there. Seven, one, three, seven. Very right, good. And then, Eight, enter, and we're going to do the same thing. Drag it down, Control E. It looks like it's recognizing the last thing right before the quotation. Very good. So now what we're going to do is right in here. This is where we're going to use the formula. We're going to go 239, which is already in feet format, right? Plus uh, six divided by 12, right? That's the inches. And then seven eighths divided by twelve. So right here, I took the seven and the eight. Seven divided by eight. 
d4 divided by e4 divided by 12. So that takes a fraction of an inch, divides it by 12, and you get add that everything together, and you get 239.57573. All right? And then the formula will do the same thing for you uh, more reliably because what happens here, sometimes you'll do this control E fast. I forget what it's called, but it'll uh, fast quick select, fast select, something like that. Fast fill, fast fill, I think it's called. <laughs> All right, I think and that's what it does, but it's unreliable unless you really go through and check. And sometimes when you get into decimals over here, that's where you run into problems, especially if you're looking for this, extracting this bit of a fraction and it's not formatted the way you want it. Let's see right here, control one, control Z, control one. Yeah, see I set it to three decimal places. If it's not set to three decimal places, you want something like it, it won't may not work so <clears throat> let's go to there's the filter I mean there's the font the right there's the formula and that'll take that feet and inches converted to decimal that's the formula there all right and then here's the same thing we can go we can extract 209 let's just delete all this actually I want to leave one row because there's a round function right there, delete. All right, so equals, we're not gonna do equals, we're gonna go 210, 2, 210, enter. And let's make sure this is control, uh, control one, number, we can set it to zero, okay. And then here, I'm just gonna take that, select it down, fast fill, control E. To see now something came up really screwy, right? So it didn't recognize, I don't know what in the heck it does that, but except undo flash fill. So we're gonna go 223, 223, enter, and try to fast fill that. Control E, 87190. For some reason, it just recognizes this one. Maybe it was referring somewhere else, I don't know. And then just fill those two in by hand, 210, 209, 210. And then we're gonna go in uh, 0 0.198, point one nine eight, enter, and try to fast fill that. Control E. So now here we go. So what happens now is if I do this, zero, enter, it'll all it'll recognize that I'm trying that, that I don't want what it had and it will uh, fast fill the similar, so everything here now matches, right? But we see that if it doesn't work out, and like it's got five, some weird decimal thing, you change it to what you want, and it recognizes it. All right, and then, uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and multiply it by, this is the fraction of a foot, decimal feet. We wanna multiply that by 12 equals this times 12, enter. Right now we get that. There's no need to round this because right here, let's just do now. Since that's a formula, we'll just drag that down with the with the formula pin. All right now we got feet, feet, fraction, decimal feet, and then right here it's it's uh, decimal inches. Right. So let's do this. Let's for, for, uh, I can go right here. It's all decimal inches. So right here we're going to round it up. We want to get a fraction. And this is the formula round. J5, 8, comma, 0, dash, uh, forward slash, 8. So <clears throat> that's what we're looking for here, right? And that's going to round it to the nearest fraction. So that's a formula. So I'm just going to paste that down. Let me, uh, let me paste that down and then I'll do something with that one. So, all right, now we got that. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete that. So, backspace, enter. You can see that formula right there to get the fraction in something that works for you. And I honestly can't remember if this rounds up or rounds down, but I think it rounds to the closest. Uh, if you were working on something, you may want it to round up so that you wouldn't end up with a smaller piece, you know? So sometimes you want to round up, sometimes you go on the piece of insert, you might want to round down the, the, the 
slot or position that it's going into, you may want to round up. Anyway, there's the formula right there. And let's see, so now we want to get to concatenate, right? And the way we do that is equals H6, which is 210, and then we're going to do quote, apostrophe dash quote. That puts that in text, right? Let's see if I can do this. So here it is. Let's zoom in a little bit. So I want the feet, and then I want the apostrophe, and then a dash. That's what that is in quotes. And then the ampersand. And then I want the text to return just the way it is here, uh, 2 and 3 eighths, right? I want it to show up as 2 and 3 eighths. So I got to tell it that I want it to show up like that. So I do as the text is, because if I don't have that, it'll just return the decimal. And I don't want that. I don't want decimal inches. I want inches and, and fractions of an inch. Text, so it's going to return the text in K6, which is where the formatted for, uh, fraction is that I want. Then I got to put it in quote. The quote is going to be, and this is showing what I want the whole number and a space. If you don't have the whole number in a space, the, the hash mark in a space, it's just going to return everything is an improper fraction like this. Delete, delete, enter. 19 eighths, right? Control Z. So you want to have it with the space there and it tells, oh, I want the whole number in the fraction. And it's already rounded, so it'll take care of that for you. So hash mark, hash mark, in case you had 11 sixteenths or something like that, it will recognize it. And then the ampersand and then the quotation. Odd thing about this is you have to go quote, 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 if you want the quotation marks to show up at the end, you know, like that at the very end. <clears throat> it recognizes quote, 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 something else. And that's it. So that's how you get from decimal feet, uh, feet and inches to decimal feet and then decimal feet to feet and inches in the format that you want. That could be modified if you don't want us, if you want something else. And if you just wanted decimal inches at the end, you could do that too, just by bringing that over without the formatting. <coughs> now, that may, <laughs> that could save you a gang of time. Uh, here's something that I did. I did one where I did a random, but uh, it's just it's just running through another test of those. I don't need that. I think maybe it was a different formula. You know, that's a pretty reliable, real reliable formula there and there. This one gets you from feet and inches to decimal, and this one the other way around. But if it's not formatted exactly right, it won't recognize it. If the format's a little different, you may have to format the feet and inches exactly the way it's formatted there for it to work. And then when it returns, it's going to format it exactly like that for you. Hope that helps you in your career and saves you some time and energy and makes you guys, uh, make sure, you know, helps you make more money and helps you your company make more money. Good luck. Thanks for watching. And share if you feel that that could help somebody else in their career, all right? Thanks for watching.